Good morning. Here I am, Havar Town. I've been here for a week and the only other places that I've shown so far in previous videos is I walked along here and I walked along here, over there. And meanwhile, there is much more of the island of Havar to see. Going all the way down here to Sukuraj. I have a car rented for the next three days. Let's go check it out. Yes, that is it. The Pink Panther, a old VW Beetle convertible. This was just what they had like on the spot ready to go. And so <laughs> here I am. The Pink, actually Panther, not Panther. That is even funnier. All right, let's get out of here and cruise and see amazing Hvar, Croatia. Just uh, reserved. Oh, man. I just reserved a room for three nights in another village. Driving there now, so we're looking forward to seeing more of this island. Oh yeah. This car is funky to drive, though. The uh, clutch and brake are just really awkward. It's from the 70s, I guess. I don't know, but uh, it's an experience. Here's the room. $35 a night. I just booked it, you know, 30 minutes ago or whatever on my way here. And uh, a sweet deal here. And so, uh, when I first rented the car, then the guy had said, if you want to exchange it, because it was the only thing that he had at the time, he said, uh, you can turn it in later in the evening. And after driving that thing over here, it is just a pain in the butt to drive. So I'm going to be returning the car later. But uh, for now, I'm going to walk into the little town of Roboska. I guess that's it right out there. Yeah, I can see water. That must be the bay. And uh, go show the town and grab some lunch. And so it's called Villa Welcome and a nice, authentic neighborhood here. And there we go, I can see the water right there, so... It is super close. This is Verboska. A much different scene from Havar town. Much quieter and more chilled out. All right, let's uh, find a restaurant. I'm starving. here Dalmatian pasticada, a local dish. Dalmatia is a region of Croatia, the uh, southern part of Croatia. So it is a beef dish with, I guess, sort of like pasta, little pasta things there. Looks good. <laughs> So the mission now is to find a good spot to get wet. That shouldn't be too hard to find. 
wrap around this uh, bay here and see if there's a good swimming spot. What a cool little village. And so now I know it looks like the better spots to swim are on the other side there. But let's see. It looks like this will work. So this is the town of Starigrad, a port uh, town. The ferries go from Split on the mainland of Croatia here, as well as to Hovar town where I was before. So crazy the sky. I wrote the song on faces. Old people facing by. I see friends shaking hands. Saying how you and just in time to watch the sunset Man, this is a really <laughs> lovely little town here. Nice uh, waterfront walking area here. Good morning. So this is the uh, change that has happened in the past week since I've been here, is that uh, the local businesses have started requiring people to wear masks inside some of the stores. So uh, just taking extra precautions because of some rising uh, cases in other parts of the Balkans, especially such as Serbia, where I was before I came to Croatia. Anyways, here I am uh, back in Stari Grad and I returned the uh, vehicle and got another one. And I'm getting some uh, breakfast, or brunch rather, items. Going over to this bakery here and then head out and uh, go to a awesome beach. See some more of Havar. I would love to know how old this is very worn down. It could be from Roman times. The Roman Empire was in uh, this area. And so I'm in the uh, back streets of Stari Grad, and here is the uh, bell tower. And I guess the uh, main church And so this is St. Stephen's Square. The main square was once a site for community meetings and negotiations. On the houses on the northern side, there is a sundial and the coat of arms of the noble Hektorovich family from the 
15th century, the house on the western side has several large stone blocks from the original city walls of ancient Pharos built into it. As the sign above the entry says, the bell tower was erected in 1753. I love Croatia. Me too. It is quickly becoming one of my uh, favorite countries with this uh, second visit of mine. And got some pastries here for brunch and some yogurts. And here is the new and uh, much improved vehicle with AC and a quiet engine and a smooth ride, which was actually really essential for getting down this uh, very steep and extremely narrow little road going down to this uh, beach called Zarache, something like that. I guess there's a beach at uh, both ends, down there and down there. I think that I will go this way and see what's there. Should be a nice swimming spot. Nice scene here. All right, nice spot here. And then the other beach is down here. Hey dude, what's up? And it has gotten a little bit hazy and not so hot now. So I think I won't take a swim here. I took a nice uh, swim back at the other beach, but uh, I think I'll just take a quick look here and then keep on exploring. This is Milna Beach and I am standing right there. Kind of busy. and getting windy. <laughs> ne Parkerati Privatino. And we've got a Fixer upper for sale here. And you can see the local Croatian language is uh, very similar to English in terms of some of the spellings, anyways. So, this is the little village of 
Rudina or Rudina, population 70, and apparently there is a nice lagoon here. So going to poke around, see what I find. Smells like horses around here. Probably they got some over there. Speaking of horses, Little guy, uh, kind of hiding back in the trees there. He's tied up, I can see. <laughs> Hello there. And we've got a sign that appears to be saying that the sea is a 15 minute walk along this path here. So let's give it a try. Keep my eyes open for snakes. Awesome path. Another ankle twister, gotta watch your uh, step here. Keeps on going up this way. Or maybe not. Huh. All right, kind of, sort of. Yeah, here you go. And so now it's a more clearly defined path coming from that way, but I came from this way, and so I need to remember when I come back to take this right here and not go the uh, main path. Hello. Thank you. Well, that's a good sign. Must be a beach or something down here. Some kind of old structure here. And the uh, trail turned into like a jeep road. And I can see the water out there. Nice. Except for all the garbage. Maybe that's why most people are out on the rocks. So let's uh, hop along the rocks and find a nice spot for a swim. I have no idea if that is the mainland of Croatia or another island. All right, that water is looking amazing. And so that is the island of Brac or Brach. And beyond that is the mainland and Split, where I flew into about nine days ago and took the ferry over to Havar. What 
a spot. <sighs> when in doubt, go down the path less traveled and see what you find. So I decided to take the other path and see where it went, and it went to a little sort of a tree sitting spot for some local kids, I'm sure. Get down from here and keep on walking, and it looks like it's going to go back to a, a road. That is where I came from, another path. Who knows how old these uh, walls are, probably hundreds of years old. And I can see kind of a dirt path up ahead, and I suspect that this will then go back to the uh, car because there was a junction there. We'll see. And some houses. All right, so uh, sort of a neighborhood here. Let's see where this goes. It's got to connect back to that main road that I was on one way or another. All right. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Just uh, trying to follow my intuition. Okay, I don't even know if I'm going the right way at this point, but... Uh, It's an adventure. Boom. Hey guys, another day of exploring here on Havar, and I'm going through this little town on the way to a road that goes along the south coast of the island. And this is just a classic little uh, sort of country area here with vineyards and looks like wine tasting and a church up on the, Take the next left. hill back up there. And look at this, just cool little village. So the sun is out after a cool and cloudy and rainy morning. So I'm glad to uh, glad to have the uh, sunshine back. Maybe I'll make a little stop somewhere here. Take a little closer look at this uh, town. Just gonna do a, a quick poke around here. This village is called Pitva, P-I-T-V-E, and the uh, name of the town is derived from the older name of the uh, island itself. I was reading about the uh, history, there we go. And it goes back before Christ, before the Greeks were here, all right, kind of a dead end there. And so far I have not seen a single other person around here. Classic old village. Things haven't changed here too much in a while. Wow, what a just tranquil spot here. I don't know if I'm in somebody else's like backyard, but the windows are all boarded up, so... I hear some human activity over there at least, so somebody's around. And there is the uh, sea and Brack Island. And very soon I will be going through a tunnel to get through this mountain right here to get to the other side of the island. So, gonna keep on cruising. 
And so this is the line for the tunnel. I guess it's about 1.4 kilometers long, so about a mile long, and it was built during the Yugoslavia area, I think in the 50s. The uh, guy that uh, rented me the car was telling me about it, and he kind of warned me about it and said it's kind of sketchy or something like that. So I guess uh, we're waiting, and then uh, we'll get going as a uh, group here and see what it's all about. All right, got the green light. And it is narrow, no lights. And so that's where I'm going right there. About a 15 minute drive that way to the end of the road there. And uh, here you can see this other little island, however you say that, Skedro or something, is straight ahead there. Great perspective on everything here. And out there is the island of Corcula, Corcula, something like that, uh, which I'm going to next, tomorrow. If I can get a boat, I need to uh, confirm that, but uh, believe there are boats going straight there. And so this is Sveta Nadilja, Nadilja. I guess there's a beach around here. It's basically the uh, end of the road, a uh, little town sprawled across this hillside here. So I'm just going to poke around and find a good spot to uh, take a swim, take a seat, relax, enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. And so no beach, I guess it's just this uh, swimming spot here. <laughs> Gonna take a seat, run a beer. Just kind of chill out here for a bit. Nice jumping spot. Carlo Vaco Cherno. Give this thing a try. That is tasty. That is a dark, dark stout there. So cool. Man, it gets deep fast. 
I could maybe get up right over there, but there's the ladder around the uh, corner. Thank you very much. Okay. Great. Hey there, so it is my last day with the rental car and I'm going to a beach that is just down there. I stopped and parked and saw these old abandoned buildings up here and I thought I would investigate. You can see some remnants of people who lived here who knows when, probably sometime in the uh, 20th century. There's another bigger building out there. Pretty trippy. And so I'm going to return the rental car in a few hours back in Havar town where I uh, picked it up. And then from there, I will take a boat over to Korchula Island out there. But for now, I'm going to uh, hike down to the beach there. Got some drinks and snacks right here and uh, go check out what is supposed to be the most beautiful beach on Havar Island. There is a hiking path. It's called Dubovica, if I'm saying that right. Beach. There you go. Dubovica. And you can see there, SV Nedjelja. That is where I went yesterday. The last clip that you saw from yesterday was at that uh, spot. And so I'm not sure, but maybe you can hike there from here because it is a different road. There's no road that goes along right here. You have to go through a tunnel, back to the other side of the island, and then down, and then through that other uh, tunnel that I went through, and then come back. But from here, it is actually quite close, so maybe that is a uh, hiking possibility, and that would be a really cool hike, I'm sure. But for now, just gonna get down to this nice little bay and Dubovica Beach. There it is, looks pretty ultimate, but also a small beach and 
other people on it, so not the uh, most private cove. But uh, as I showed before, that other very uh, kind of remote secret spot that I went to a couple days ago, then there is so much more to see of this island. And you can always find a spot to swim by yourself if you want, because even if it isn't a nice beach, then just swimming off of the rocks can be great. And so maybe that's what I'll do is find a different spot off to the right or something. It's uh, a little less crowded, but uh, we'll see. Oh, no.